Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. I've already done two programs on the murals at the Denver International Airport, and I received a great many responses to those videos. And many people saw more things than I had originally seen. So I've decided in this video to do a compilation of those discoveries. And therefore I would like to thank 9T, No Jesus, No Peace, Laver 2009, Mega Man 2160, and Jerome 112. And I have titled this video, Sex and Satanism in the Denver Airport Murals. First let's take a look at an example of Satanism in this leopard cub which we see here. Now we already know from my previous videos that this leopard overseeing this entire scene is a prophecy of Barack Obama. And these two cubs indicate his daughters. Notice the very human-like face of this cub. But what's even more interesting is the lettering on the cub's tail. There's a U, there's a D, there's an O, another O, and a V. Now if you spell these backwards the way Satan would do, you get V-O-O-D-U. In other words, voodoo. Now this is not accidental. Now this same mural shows a satanic perversion of the Last Supper. And we see a child taking the place of Christ Notice the halos around her head. The colorful plant takes the place of the chalice. We here see an altar. And we also see 11 apostles in the form of children gathered around this Last Supper table. Of course, this is a mockery of the Last Supper, but at least it is correct as far as the number of apostles go. Because when Jesus consecrated his body and blood, from bread and wine, the apostle who betrayed him, Judas, had already left. And therefore we find the correct number of children here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now this one does not count because she is looking away from the scene. So we see a perversion of the Lord's Supper and the chalice is replaced by this living plant in technicolor. Now so far we see that the artist Leo Tanguma has hidden these satanic references. The word voodoo is backwards. The perversion of the Lord's Supper is not that easy to recognize. And in this next mural we will find an image of sex. Because this is the crotch of a naked woman and you can see her body as well. But if we take a close-up of this we will see that the artist has hidden this image in the form of a bird. Now up close you can see that the artist has hidden this image in the form of a bird. Notice the two wings, the long neck of the bird, and the very long tail. But nonetheless, this outline is definitely that of a naked woman. Now just as the previous mural was a perversion of the Lord's Supper, this mural with the naked woman is a perversion of the nativity. In fact, one of my YouTubers called this the birth of the Antichrist. Let's take a closer look. Now here below we find three dead people in coffins. And up here we see seven children. And in the arms of this dead woman in the middle we find a baby. This symbolizes the Antichrist. Now, of course, the woman symbolizing Mary, instead of being alive, is dead. Although we know this is a stand-in for Mary because of the halo around her head. Also, this child has a halo around his head. Now, the significance of this from the Bible is that the Antichrist will arise after three of ten kings have been subdued. That's the symbolism of these three dead bodies and the symbolism of these seven living children. Don't tell me this artist does not know full well what he is doing. Now this birth of the Antichrist is accompanied by World War III, that's all this flame, 
It's preceded by the death or the sacrifice of the leopard, which symbolizes America. This is brought about by the map of Russia. And we also see the birth of the Antichrist as symbolized by these gifts, which imitate the gifts of the Magi at Bethlehem. Notice, for example, the label on this gift is in gold, symbolizing gold, of course. Over here, the label is in silver, which would be an imitation of the frankincense. And over here, the label is blue. And there is a blue myrrh plant. We also see many animals in this scene, which is a perversion of the manger scene in Bethlehem for the birth of the Antichrist. Now, from my previous videos, we know that the leopard symbolizes Barack Obama and the United States. And the artist here is continuing his Bible prophecy. Notice that this leopard has been sacrificed. And above the leopard, we see a map of Russia indicating the nation which will defeat the United States. Let's take a closer look at this map. Now over here, we see a person's head with a tongue coming out in the form of a spiral. Now this may not be a tongue, it may be a symbol for speech. This image here, my YouTube friend says that this is a son of the Sumerians. And over here we see another figure with similarly with a tongue coming out in the form of a spiral. And he said that this son is an Egyptian or Masonic son. Now on the internet they say that this is a Mayan tablet which is depicting the end of the world. And as I said before, it's all contained in the map of Russia. So we saw in this nativity of the Antichrist that a leopard had to be sacrificed before the Antichrist could come forward. And the leopard, of course, we know symbolizes America and Barack Obama. Another YouTuber pointed me to an interesting episode on the South Park television program. Now this was a very gruesome program in the form of a cartoon called A Woodland Critter's Christmas. I do not advise for you to watch this unless you want to see how degenerate America has really become. This program featured animal sacrifice, drinking of blood, abortion, the animals all shouting out, Hail Satan. But the interesting part is that before the Antichrist in this program could be born, a panther had to be killed. Something tells me that these New World artists are more aware of Bible prophecy and what is going to happen in these end times than the Christians are. These murals at the Denver airport are 15 years old. These New World Order people understood the Bible better than we as Christians. It's time for us to prepare now, for the time is almost up. And remember, God does not reveal the future to scare us, but to prepare us. And if you would like a free copy of my book, Revelation Unraveled, simply write to the address you see on your screen.